Okay. Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to talk about uh, rotation in a geometry class and uh, this video clip is going to talk about rotation around origin. And uh, basically we're going to look to this uh, six uh, problem. Uh, you see the first three we rotate the segment AB 90, 180 and 270. It's not mentioned the rotation but since it's not mentioned we gonna go counterclockwise and in the last uh, three four five and six you're gonna rotate the same segment clockwise okay so let's start to this number one here segment a b is rotate 90 degree let's plot that that uh, those two points a and b and see how the segment looks like So this is the segment AB and we want to rotate 90 degree around the origin. The blue point, so it's very easy to do this rotation. Look at here, we just count uh, how far away the origin is from point A or vice versa, how far away A is from the origin. And in fact, we knew it just by plotting the point. Three units down, five units left if we move from A to the origin. Look at here how I'm going to move now. So if you notice, like, I switch. The original one was five units to the right and three up. Here I move three units left and five up. That will give me the point A prime. And the same I'm gonna do for B. There you go, that is the segment A prime, B prime uh, rotated. Uh, it's the, the image of a rotation of segment AB 90 degree around the origin, and like I said, counterclockwise. We can find the rule here. And the rule is going to be nothing else, x, y. Becomes... x, y becomes negative y and x. Uh, usual what I do, I get one point and then I use the rule for getting more points if that is needed. Uh, now let's take a look to uh, rotation of uh, 180 degree. And again, you see the segment AB. I'm going to rotate this segment uh, counterclockwise 180 degree. So this uh, segment will be on quadrant 3. Uh, that is another way to remember rotation of a specific angles. 90 degrees, you're going to move one quadrant. 180, you're going to move two quadrants. 270, which you're going to see the next time, we're going to move three quadrants. So here, if we're in quadrant one and we move two quadrants, we're going to be in quadrant three. Is that Like I said, this is a shortcut to remember. Oh, 
prove. There you go. This is uh, point A prime. And you see I did it by counting, uh, going from A to the other red uh, uh, point, the origin 3 down, 5 uh, left. I'm going to go 5 right, 3 down, and get the A prime. So now we see that the point 5 and 3 becomes negative 5 and negative 3, so the rule is xy becomes negative x and negative y. So basically now we look into point B, which is 1 and 7, B prime will be negative 1 and negative 7. And now you can see uh, A prime, B prime is a rotation of segment AB by 180 degrees. Counterclockwise. 270. As I mentioned before, we rotate 270, that means it's going to be three quadrants from um, the original one. This is quadrant one, we go counterclockwise, and also point A and B, because both are in quadrant one, A prime, B prime will be in quadrant three. And we're going to do the same counting. So xy becomes, if you take a look, 5 and 3 becomes 3 and negative 5. So xy becomes y and negative x. So now I'm going to do the same uh, transformation of point B. It was 1 and 7. And that will be 7 and negative 1. And you see now, this is nothing else than a rotation of 270 degree counterclockwise of segment AB. Uh, the next three, this one, rotate 90 degree clockwise. If you remember, this is counterclockwise. Clockwise will be this way. But there is a relation between these two guys. 90 degree clockwise, the one we're looking for is the same like, let me, 270 counterclockwise. So this is clockwise, this is counterclockwise. 180 is the same either way. It doesn't matter how you move clockwise or counterclockwise clockwise and to 70 clockwise will be exactly like 90 contra clockwise so you can go back on those three problems we mentioned and do uh, what I just said let me show you just one example uh, let's go to the number 6, which is 270 clockwise. So that means if the point A
If the point A, which is 5 and 3, we, move, we rotate 270 clockwise, that means the same thing with 90 counterclockwise. And if you remember, the rule was xy becomes negative y and x. So this 5 and 3 becomes 270 right here, 3 and negative 3 and 5. Okay, so if you enjoyed this uh, video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back for more video clips on C-square. Thank you.